welcome to the cruise biology in this video we are going to talk about transportation in plants if you want to like my videos then click the like button subscribe my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notification so in this video we are going to talk about the transportation transportation of water transportation of food particles how it is going to take place in plants so whatever the uh, molecules that is going to be transported if either it will be short distance or long distance it has to be traveled water molecules is traveled to this pathway different pathways and food molecules is also going to be traveled first of all water molecules is absorbed by this root and it is going to be travel in this direction and the food molecules is the synthesize uh, synthesis by the process of photosynthesis this food that is glucose and the carbohydrate that is the synthesis uh, by this photosynthesis process so it will it has to be uh, transported into this different part in the both direction but the water molecules has to be transported into this only opposite to this gravitational for force so how it is going to be transported and the mechanism that will be discussing detail first one if there is the short distance it has to be travel so there is the diffusion it is the process of transportation of molecules from their higher concentration based on their concentration gradient higher concentration to lower concentration so it it does not have uh, requires the energy larger energy for this transportation if it has to be traveled for this short distance it will be transported through diffusion but if it has to be traveled for the long distance so it requires the various system there is the vascular system in plant to travel these molecules from the root to these leaves sometimes more than 100 meter so it has to be traveled for the long distance it requires the vascular system in plants so water molecules it has to be absorbed from this root and it has to be traveled through this stem and leaves and all this part of this plant and the food is going to be synthesized in the mesophyll cells mesophyll cells of this uh, leaf cells and the photosynthesis that is going to be takes place and it has to be travel through this leaves to this various parts of this plant so that is the uh, process of transportation now for this uh, transportation there is the vascular system for that for the water transportation there is the xylem that is that transport the water and the minerals that is by the xylem now the functions of the xylem is to conduct the water and the minerals from the root to this all part of the plant and it provides also mechanical support due to this deposition of lignin lignin is a one type of chemical that is deposited in this xylem and it provides the strength mechanical strength and gives the support it provide the strength so it has to be traveled through this uh, xylem the water travel through this xylem and minerals is also traveled through this xylem now the food material is traveled by the phloem that is the vascular system of plant so there is the xylem for the food and mineral transportation phloem for this food transportation so the first we are talking about xylem how the water is going to be transported through this xylem so there are the main three forces major three forces for the water movement through xylem 
So the first one through this root, there will be root pressure. We are also going to discuss in detail how they are going to be transported through root. Second one that is the cohesion adhesion theory that is cohesive and tension theory. Third one that is transpiration pool, how it is going to be transported by this transpiration pool. So these three forces plays the vital role in the water movement through this xylem. So the first one root pressure. Now what happens? In the root there will be the concentration gradient is generated. So based on their concentration gradient the water moves from this soil to this root cells and then root cells there will be the pathway of going to this different cells this part so that will be the pathway for this water movement now what happens then the based on their concentration gradient it will be transported and sometimes against it the concentration gradient there will be requirement of ATP also so there will be the uh, pathway for this three pathway first one that is apoplastic symplastic and the transmembrane root the water is transported via this cell wall that is the root that is called apoplastic root that is apoplast. If the water is transported through this plasmodesmata you can see here that is the plasmodesmata. So if it is going to be transported via this plasmodesmata that is the junction of cell so it is called symplast and if it is transported through this membrane that is called transmembrane root. <coughs> so there are the root for the different pathways. There are the pathways for this different pathways for this transportation of water molecules. Next one that is the cohesion adhesion forces. There will be the forces between these water molecules. As you can see in this figure, there will be the force between two water molecules. There is the cohesion and the forces between these channels of conducting channels and these water molecules. That is this adhesion. As you can see in these green lines. That is, that is the attraction forces. And there is the attraction forces between these two water molecules. So based on there, cohesion tension theory that will the movement now based on their cohesion tension theory that will be water molecules are going to be transported in the upward direction that that is the based on their forces that is the plays the important role now the third one that is the that is the transportation through this transpirational pool. How it is going to be transported. Now in these forces what happens? The water is going to be lost through this stomata. So due to this water loss it sucks this uh, water from this root part to this upper region that uh, loss of water due to suppose temperature there are many factors that affects this loss of water this loss of water that is called transpiration now this due to this transpiration it will serve this water whatever the loss of water that will be space for this water uh, there will be generation of space so due to this creation of pressure creating pressure so the water will sucks from this below region that is from the root and it replace the nutrient replace the water that is uh, removed due to this transpiration so that is called transpiration pool.
that is the three theories three forces for the movement of water molecules now how the food that is transported now the food transportation via this vascular system that is called phloem as you can see if we want to see the structure that is phloem here you can see the structure of phloem you can see the structure of this phloem so what happens the food that is generated by the process of photosynthesis in plants due to this photosynthesis food will be generated now this food from this leaf it has to be transported to this all parts of this plant suppose stem root this all parts of the plants it has to be transported so there will be transportation occurs in the both direction but in the xylem there will be transportation occur only the single direction now the sugar that is the actively transported into phloem and the water follows the uh, by osmosis now what happens for the transportation of this food particles they requires the atp molecules now it is going to be transported by this phloem with this companion cell with the help of companion cell and the sieve tube cell that is the structure part of this phloem now due to from this leaf part it will be transported through this phloem to this other regions of the plant and this creates a positive pressure potential that cause the sap to flow into this phloem so there will be the pressure will be generated the due to this pressure the water will be moved and this sugar will be also moved and this from the one part it will be goes to the another regions of this plant and the sucrose is actively transported out of the sieve tube cells and water follows the osmosis and the there is the high concentration of the sugar and there will be the low concentration of sugar so the actively transportation of the sugar it requires the atp molecules so it will be energetically uh, you can say that atp will be used for this transportation so this video i will uh, you can if you want to download the material you can also download the link that is given below the video and uh, i hope this video is helpful to you guys if you want to like my videos then click the like button subscribe my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notification make sure to click on the bell icon so you can get the notification of this videos whatever that i have uploaded so i hope this video is helpful to you guys thank you